no matter what your marriage situation is, good, bad, ugly, hard, we all have a choice of what we focus on. Often we focus on the hardships, the things that irritate us and bug us, the things our spouse is not doing. But what if I told you that the power of belief could literally change not only your marriage, but it literally changes how you act, react, how you are physically. We all know that stress can make people sick. Too much stress can make people sick and bring on illness. But have you ever thought about what you focus on in life makes you healthier or makes you unhealthy? Well, in the book, The Gap and the Gain, it talks about how our power of belief, the power of belief, and what we give attention to literally affects us physically. And the quality of life, whether we focus on the gap, which is everything that goes wrong, things we don't like, uh, the negative side, or if we focus on the gain, which we're, you know, it's focusing on abundance, what we're happy with, what's going well. Whatever we focus on, we get more of. But I want to share this quick little milkshake story with you. There was a whole group of people and they took them and they divided them into two groups. Now they wanted to measure the, the ghrelin, hopefully I'm saying that, that's that hunger hormone, the ghrelin, they wanted to measure that. And when you get hungry and your stomach is empty, then the ghrelin rises and it triggers that response of, I'm hungry, right? Well, they took these two groups of people and before they started, they gave them all a blood test. So they could measure the ghrelin in their sister in their systems. Then they gave them a, an hour later, they gave them a second blood test. And after they did this blood test, they gave them their milkshakes to drink. The group one's milkshake was 680 calories. Group two's milkshake was 120 calories. And then they did the third blood test. And guess what? Those people who had 680 calories, Yes, they believed their ghrelin was uh, low and they were full because they had 680 calories. But the people who drank 120 calories were hungry. And you might say, yeah, that's to be expected. But guess what? Both groups' milkshakes were the same calories, 380 calories. So literally, there was a physical response shown in the blood that the people who had 120 calorie milkshake were actually had higher ghrelin in their system and they were hungry even though they had had the same calories as the other group i'm telling you what you know i used to be with the company that says what you think about you bring about and you know what sometimes that is true what you think about you bring about and when there's challenges in marriage that's what we get stuck on i've seen it before we get stuck on it and that's what we think about all the time. Is it making you sick? Refocus. Think about all the things you're grateful for. There is some kind of abundance, good abundance in your life, and you want to pay attention to those things. I want you to look up on Spotify. It's already on Spotify, the Extraordinary Marriage Podcast, where I'll have guests. I'll be sharing ideas to make your marriage better, and you'll hear real life stories from people who've been there, done that, and how they overcame many, many things in their marriage to make it a successful marriage. So that's the Extraordinary Pot, excuse me, Extraordinary Marriage Podcast, and it's coming up November 2nd.